It's the singing show that keeps you guessing. This is the Masked Singer. Each week, your favourite celebrities perform undercover. As you and our panel try to decipher the clues. What? Oh, who is Blob? Identify the voice. Do you think it could be? Are you joking? And solve the mystery. It's so beyond Baxter. It's Marvin with a Baxter. It's Martin the Goblin. It's Glenn Hoddle. It's John Johnson, everybody. <laughs> Last week, two more Mars singers were revealed. Viking Take it off. and Blob. It's Martin Arkin. Tonight, it's the semi-final and another double elimination. Five Masked Singers remain. Robin, Harlequin, Dragon, Badger, and Sausage. Plus, guest detective Matt Lucas joins the panel. I, 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 I couldn't possibly. <laughs> Get ready is that? to play wow, wow, wow. TV's craziest guessing game. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, your semi finalists. People always talk about ah! yeah. all the things they're all about. Write it on a piece of paper. Got a feeling I'll see you later. There's something about this. Let's keep it moving. Hey! If good, let's just get something cooking. Because I really want to rock with you. I'm feeling some connection to the things you do. and we are one step closer to completing TV's most elaborate guessing game. Only three of our masked singers will make it through to next week's final, which means two celebrities will be unmasked tonight. Wow. <laughs> so who's behind the mask? Luckily, Amazon had a 50% off deal on wannabe spies and this lot were left on my doorstep. <laughs> it's our panel, everybody. <laughs> Brainy as Professor Plum, but he hasn't got a clue, though. It's oh. Jonathan Ross, everybody. Okay. I'm on it this series. Her guesses can be all over the place. You could call her Aura the Explorer. It's Rita Aura. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> My third favourite muck after McFlurries and McVitties. Oh, okay. It's Fair Davina McCall. Yeah. <laughs> His detective skills are a cut above the rest. That's why we call him Flymo. It's Mo oh. Gilligan! <laughs> when it comes to our panel, guesswork is never a piece of cake. So tonight, we're giving them a fantastic filling by putting this comedy legend in the middle. It's Bake Off star Matt <laughs> Lucas, everybody! Yes! yes. Hello there. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you on the panel, Matt. Hello. How competitive do you think you're going to be tonight? I really don't know what is going on. So <laughs> I really, I'm very confused. They just said, do you want to leave your house during a pandemic? I said, yes, very much. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, we're confused as well, because we thought one of the people was you. We were yes, convinced yes. you were in the show. Yes. That is me. 
but someone is inside me right now. Ah, oh, yeah. that's the suit. This is so complicated right now. Good luck to our wonderful panel, and Matt, just keep them in check, please. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> our panel, everybody! A lot happening tonight. A lot. It's another double elimination with just three mass singers going through to next week's final. And tonight, our five celebrities will perform to win over the studio audience and the celeb with the least votes will be unmasked. The four remaining celebrities will perform again before a second vote and another unmasking at the end of the show. I'm so excited! <laughs> There are clues all over the place tonight, especially in our clue packages. And parts of these films feature stunt doubles, mainly so our celebs can get their beauty sleep, even though they're wearing masks. <laughs> right, it's clue time. This biker got their big break in the fast and the furriest. It's Badger. competition, just like my career, I've been able to remain anonymous. I'm sticking with Brian Cox. Ben Shepherd. For our Williams. Keith Lemon. I hope it stays that way, because I'm not quite ready to show my face just yet. You're ready. Snow. Why is it snowing? Badgers, look out for each other. That's something I've tried to do with my career. Bells ring. He must have a famous Christmas song. Spreading cheer shouldn't be just for Christmas. It should be 365 days a year. And I think it's somebody charitable who is kind. It could be looking out. I've been very blessed and humbled to have such a platform and I try to use it to give back. It might be helping other artists get discovered. You think it's like a producer or someone? I just want to help make it possible for other people's dreams to come true, too. Blurry lines. Tonight, this badger is riding into the semi-finals, and I'm hoping he doesn't come to a dead end. Everyone I'm guessing is way shorter than they are. All my guesses are going out the window. Come on, come on, little please, come on. I saw my problems and I see the light. We got a love and thank, we got a feed it right. Woo! There ain't no danger, we can go too far. We stop believing now, then we can be who we are. Grease is the world. God, my God. Yeah. They think our love is just a growing pain. Why don't Great. For me, that was your best performance yeah. yet on yeah. the show. I think this is the first time I think I've been played. Maybe you're not even British. You said in the VT that you're a mentor and that you like to help others. I thought of a mentor, and his name is Robin Thicke. Mm. In the VT, it said blurry something, and yeah. I thought, okay, blurry lines. Blurred so lines that is my guess. Yeah. Mo. When I look at the VT package, there was a whole Christmas theme. 
So who do we know that makes a lot of money by Christmas? Yeah. Michael Bublé. Oh. Could be Michael Bublé. Bublé. Oh. Could be Michael Bublé. I don't know if he could be... I believe he's in the uh, social Bublé at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most Incredible. dad joke ever on this show. Look at all the dads right now. It's not bad. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan. Here's the thing. Someone who likes seeing other people's dreams come true. Someone who we didn't know could dance like that till now. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? It's Louis Walsh. That's who it is. Come on. It's got to be, is not it? No, man. What? You built everyone up. Look at everyone's faces. He's got the legs of a 13-year-old. <laughs> Davina. I was looking at the clues. Charity-driven, using his platform for good. I know that Matt Baker is a very kind and giving charitable person. Oh. I'm going with Matt Baker. Matt, I was just thinking, you said you like to look out for everyone. Someone who looks out is someone who lives in a lighthouse. <laughs> and then I thought, who lives in a lighthouse? The Fraggles. <laughs> <laughs> so you could be Goober Fraggle. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you're a bit of a good dancer. Yes. Yeah. Mm. You're a bit of a good singer. You've got quite a muscly frame and quite skinny legs. <laughs> it could be Peter Andre, you know. It's yeah. another okay. new name in the mix. Yeah. So who's inside Badger? It's all up in the hair. We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Badger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is our Badger a Cockney or a Mockney? Who do you think is behind the mask? I thought Matt might have blown my cover. False alarm. He's not helped him at all. <laughs> Let's collect some more clues. If laughter is the best medicine, then this next act is practically a pharmacy. It's Harlequin. Each week, I've been moving on up, and now I'm here in the semi-final, and I couldn't be happier. Desiree. Zara Phillips. Emily Sanday. The Masked Singer really has been one big fairground ride, and I've loved every minute of it. I think it's important to make a good impression. Good impression? Rumour has it. Someone I admire very much used to do impressions of me. They do say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Who does impressions? And it makes me proud to inspire others. But if we're really talking about pride, it's the accomplishments of others that makes me most proud. Look at the bottles. It says Brit. Someone who won a Brit. I'm certainly not work shy, though I admit I only like to work three months of the year. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to give it my best, and who knows, maybe this Harlequin will see you in the final. I had a dream I got everything I wanted Now what you think but if I'm being honest, might have been a nightmare to anyone who might care. I had a dream. I got everything I wanted. The when I wake up, I see you with me. And you say, as long as I Again, but I give it again. If I 
Come to you first. That was beautiful. You know when you're in the presence of a real legend yeah. on stage, you know? Yeah. They've got the vibratos on lock. They're doing the C minors. I learned this <laughs> stuff from, from Rita. I don't even know what I'm talking got... about. <laughs> but you was all with me, though, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking who this could be. I've seen the Brit reference. So I'm thinking of people that have performed at the Brits, won Brits. It could be the amazing Gabrielle. Um, right, so, yeah. so, yes, that's who I think it is. Rita! Now I've got a little bit confused, because, again, with the Brit reference, who's won Brit awards, I went directly to the Brits, like Mo did, so I was mm. a bit like, OK, who's won Brit? There was Desiree. She also has that husky, amazing texture That's to her very, voice. Very good guess. Davina! Brit written on the bottles. The bottles were all fizzy drinks, so that could be Brit pop. Yeah. Oh. I keep thinking about Emily Sande, and I send it every week. She's got that lovely quality to her voice. Emily Sande. My favourite singer and my favourite day of the week. Matt <laughs> Lucas, who do you think it is? Well, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Vocally, I do hear Gabrielle, I'm such a fan. But there is room in that dress for two people. So I'm going to go with Jedward. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Matt does a very good impersonation of someone who could be hiding in there. Could it be Boris Johnson, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I couldn't possibly. <laughs> <laughs> well, who the heckles inside Harlequin? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Harlequin! Yeah! Could one of these Brits be a winner? Who do you think Harlequin is? Good things come to those who wait. And they're going to have to wait and see who this Harlequin really is. We've still got loads of performances to come in this sensational semi-final, and it won't be long before our first famous face is revealed. Welcome back to the Mars Singer. The show with more wrongly guessed names than the cups in Starbucks. <laughs> it's time for some more clues, people. Next up, I don't know if they uh, like books, but they're well read. It's Robin. Can I just keep on myself away? In my last performance, the panel went in sync. With their guesses. It could be Jamie Cullum, Mark Owen. It's Adam Lambert. And I want it that way. This Robin might have a red breast, but he's also known for being blue. Blue, blue. Duncan from blue, Simon from blue. No, it's a Chelsea fan. Starting out in any career at a young age means you have to grow up fast. A little bird. Golf! Golf club. Someone from S club. As a Robin, I'm involved quickly. You could say, my discovery is almost accidental. Must be a footballer. It's more than any young Robin could have imagined. I don't need to tell you that, though. That would be preaching to the choir. Tonight, this Robin is reaching for the high notes and hoping for success. Yeah! Look at Robin, he's teasing us. He knows we don't know. Don't work like they used to before. Then I can't sweep you off of your feet. That's different. Will your mouth still remember the taste of love? Will your eyes slow down from your cheeks? Darling, I hope loving you till we're 17. My mind is perplexed right now. Who is that? Maybe my heart will fall as hard in 23. I think 
performance your voice is unbelievable that was a very sexy way of singing an Ed Sheeran song oh, I have to say go. it was very lovely and sensual <laughs> <laughs> Robin dances amazingly right he was standing still for this performance but I'm thinking okay one guy that I know that can move like that Aston from JLS yes right Mo you mentioned an accident I don't know if he had an accident, but I know he had an injury when he was at Soccer Aid. And this is the name I said from previous weeks, and that's Oli Merz. Yes. Um, and I'm still going to stick with that name because I haven't got close enough to any other names. Davina. That really surprised all of us, I think, to hear that voice coming out of Robin when it seemed much deeper mm. and sensual. Sense yeah, all right, Rita. Sorry, sorry. Get a room. <laughs> 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 I was thinking about from Blue, Lee. Lee is the most extraordinary singer. I know Lee plays football. Yep, I'm pretty sure he plays golf. Malikas. Uh, it's not often I've fancied a bird, but... <laughs> <laughs> really, <Tell him>. really, <laughs> really swept me off my feet. You really have a beautiful voice, and I think it's Gareth ah. Gates. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. And, you know, the red breast makes me think of, like, a soldier's uniform. Like in the Grenadier Guards, I'm thinking, with that sweet voice, could it be James Blunt in there, ladies and gentlemen? Ooh! Oh! oh. You know. Lovely guess. Well, we'll only know who's been Bob Bob Bobbin inside Robin when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Robin! <laughs> yeah. Has Robin's cover been blown? Is one of these faces behind the mask? Rita really worked. Now, if I have to serenade every single one of them to get to the final, I will. This next act is definitely ready. I just stuck a fork in them backstage. It's sausage. In my last performance, I sung I Will Survive. Stacey Dooley. Pixie Lock. Stacey Solomon. Sheridan Smith, ladies and gentlemen. They know I'm a funny girl, but do they know who I really am? <laughs> Sausages aren't often the subject of fairy tales, but maybe that's about to change. Sausage fairy tale. Because this little sausage has some tales to tell. Blackpool. Ooh, again, that's Blackpool Tower. I could tell you about the time I snagged myself a king. A dragon. So it could be someone that's Welsh. Or how I was once on the menu for a princess. On the menu. I could tell you about the time I've duped it out, but then I'd also have to tell you that I'm not a fighter. I'm a true romantic, though. And I guess one of my favourite tales was seeing some very important people get to say, for better or worst. Be my please. Tonight's the semi-final. Oh, and I'm hoping it won't be the end of this sausages story. Oh my god, the hair is amazing. That is 
is new. It has to be a clue. To the pool quick, come on now, dry your eyes. You know you were tired, you can touch the sky. I know that it's hard, but you got to try. If you need advice, let me simplify. If he don't love you anymore, then walk your fine self out the door. I do my head toss, check my legs. Look behind your feet. Take a deep breath, time to focus on you. Big fights, long nights that you've been through. I got a bottle of tequila, it's waiting for you. Boss up and change your life. You can have it all, no sacrifice. I know we did you wrong, we can make it right. Come on, let it all hang out tonight. Yeah. makes me so happy. The clues today with big royal connections. Who performed at William and Kate's wedding? You're blonde. It could be Ellie Goulding. Go with Ellie Goulding. Yes. A new name in the box. Matt. It was a very good vocal performance. Look at me, I sound like Simon Cowell. It was a very good vocal performance. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a mention of snagging myself a king. I think with a Cockney accent... And if you went for the king of the jungle, and that was Joe Swash, <gasps> you might say that was Stacey Solomon. Thank you so much. I've arrested my case. Good yeah. guess. I think it was a good guess. Joe Swash literally cemented what I've been saying, so I'm going to stick with Stacey Solomon. Stacey Solomon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two for Stacey there. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan, who do you think it is? Well, there's one name I've been saying more or less since the beginning of this competition because so many of the clues made me think it was her. She was on stage in Legally Blonde. She mentioned Funny Girl in that. She's been on stage doing Funny Girl, Sheridan Smith, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of the audience agreeing. Mo? I did say Sheridan Smith, but they're being stolen, as you do, because I'm the new guy. Oh. Um, so, Pixie Lot. The blonde hair, Legally Blonde, yeah. can really hit those notes as well. No. No? Nah. See? See? Stolen and disrespected, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you see what happens on this show? For frying out loud, who's inside sausage? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for sausage. Love you! Love sausage. Think you and me all right. We have wrapped it. Do you think it's time for Matt and Rita to crack out the cocktail sausages? Who do you think's behind the mask? Silly about this sausage. My identity ain't being revealed just yet. <laughs> Time for our next act. They're like a T-Rex with chronic heartburn. It's Dragon. Who I was. Donna Air. Oprah. It's Whoopi Goldberg people. But they're still not 100% share. It's there in Share! Yeah, I share! And as far as I'm concerned, that's absolutely fabulous. My spell as a dragon has been so much fun. Much like my career, I've gotten to spend my time putting smiles on people's faces. <laughs> Comedian. But I also get to connect with people all over the world. Absolutely. It was a global hit, wasn't it? Connecting with people is something I find very satisfying, and I will not let a little thing like a language barrier stop me. What does that mean? 
You gotta find a way to break the ice. And my top tip for doing that, just embarrass yourself. Trust me, works every time. Break the ice? Dancing on ice? But tonight, I'd be the world's biggest liar if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous. Go on, dragon. Go on, dragon. Dragon absolutely slayed that performance. <laughs> so good. Rita, I'm going to come to you first. I don't think that accent you have is real. I think you're actually a British icon. So I'm going to stick with Ab Fab Jennifer Saunders. Jennifer Saunders? Yes. Davina. I'm going to go back to a name that I said right at the beginning. She's a comedian. She's great at voices. There were lots of clues earlier on with IQ and QI. I'm going to go back to Sandy Toxvig. Oh, oh. When I thought of drag mm. from Dragon, and then if the rainbow suggests LGBTQ+, then it could be Michelle Visage. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. Right, that's a good great idea. idea. Matt has come on and proven his worth as a guest judge already. I think you might right. There were drag clues earlier on the series. She's on RuPaul's Drag Race. I think it is Michelle Visage. I think that's it, Matt. You've, you've nailed it. Mo, oh, there was a few clues I've seen in there. It's kind of brought me to someone that can sing. They had a big global reach with a huge TV show. And they are from the States. And that name is Ricky Lake. That is... Yeah. Yes. She's, she's a great singer. She was also on Celebrity X Factor. Yeah? She was. Is this you oh, trying to get your way in so you can no, no, steal this? No, helping you out. It's yours. No, no, it's yours. No, 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 it's you yours. Yeah. You see how they all... Oh, oh. That's really oh. good. Oh. That's how she does it, man. Oh. <laughs> Who is in there? The celebrity in green will only be seen when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Dragon. Yeah. That's the last time I try to act like a team player. Uh-huh, okay? uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> there may be no eye in team, but is one of these celebrities inside Dragon? Who do you think's behind the mask? The, the, the panel's guesses are brilliant, but, but only one came close. <laughs> All five of our semi-finalists have now performed. After the break, the studio audience votes and we'll be unmasking our very first celebrity. Singer. All five of tonight's celebrities have now performed, and it's time for our studio audience to vote for their favorite masked singer. The celebrity with the least votes will be unmasked and miss out on a place in next week's final. 
Now, while our studio audience votes, here is a reminder of tonight's performances for you guys at home. Results are in. Oh my god. And I can reveal that in no particular order, the masked singers returning to perform again later in the show are. One of you will be performing again tonight, and the other will be revealing your true identity right now. Oh, man. The Mars Singer, returning to perform again later in the show, is... Harlequin! Wow! Which means, Dragon, you're about to be unmarked. Congratulations to the rest of you. Let's give it up for them. Oh, so sad. Dragon, I'm sorry, but your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end. You will be now removing your mask. But first, panel, who do you think is behind the mask? Mo, I'm going to come to you first. I'm going to stick with Ricky Lake. I think that's really good. Davina. Ricky Goldberg. Matt Lucas. I'm going to go for Michelle Vizan. Rita Ora. It's Jennifer Saunders. Jonathan Ross, finally. I'm going with one of my fellow judges, Jennifer Saunders. OK, well, let's see if any of you are right. It's time to find out the identity of our masked singer, Dragon, who's behind the mask? Take it off! 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 Who are you? Oh, here we go. We did not see that coming. <laughs> you got us good. Can I just say that New York accent is a blinder. Thanks for being the only one who believed in it. There was a lot of... It was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you know, it makes sense. We were all going down the I'm a celebrity route because yes. you mentioned the weird things you've eaten. Yeah. But you were in that show Super Size Me. And, of course, yeah. you ate all sorts oh. of weird stuff. So what's it been like being Dragon? Being Dragon is liberating and brilliant. I've been able to be really playful and silly yeah. and childlike and scary and all those things that sometimes you can't be. Every second has been brilliant. <laughs> I had no idea you could sing. What an incredible voice you have. That's a really good voice. I would never, ever sing, and that's the reason I so wanted to do this. I, I, I am terrified of performing any kind of music or singing in public. And what will be interesting is singing without the big dragon head on. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see if it's sort of broken the spell for me to be able to just go out there and be me. But everyone should unleash their inner dragon, or blob, yeah. or alien, yeah. or whatever they've got. Yeah. Right? Give it up to Super because everybody. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Singing for us one final time, unmasked at last. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sue Parkins! Woo! OK, now I'm uh, unmasked, I can just relax a little bit before I do this. Just... Woo! Might have over-relaxed a bit there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
place in the final and another famous face will be revealed. Welcome back to The Masked Singer, the show with more masks than Catwoman's hen do. It's the semi-final, people. And before the break, we found out the dragon was in fact Sue Perkins, still recovering. Four celebrities remain in the competition, but only three can go through to next week's final. That's right, Maths fans. One more celebrity will be unmasked tonight. And all four will sing again to win over the studio audience. Up first, and singing for a place in the final, I hope they don't throttle it, it's Badger. I mean, uh, what a great performance. So much energy there. I'm none the wiser, though. I really am. I'm going to wait to see what my other judges say and steal one of their guesses. <laughs> it's very wise. Yeah. Very wise indeed. Rita, I'll come to you next. Yes. Um, Badger, wow. That confused me even more. Because yeah. of that grit that I just heard, I'm going to go back to one of my original guesses and say Jamiroquai. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it. JK from yeah, Jamiroquai. Yeah, yeah. Matt Lucas. It can only be one man, Michael Gove. Michael <laughs> Gove! <laughs> yeah, they're applauding. They're applauding, they agree. That's a good shout. So you think it could be Michael Gove? I then? think it can only be Michael Gove. <laughs> <laughs> Davina, what are you thinking? I'm literally clutching names out of the sky, but I'm going to say Adam Lambert. <laughs> you know what? 
one name that I, I was going to say before, and it could be Cisco. <laughs> what? No, it could be Cisco. What? Cisco. The phone song, because if you're in that outfit, you need a phone, man. You know how hard that thing is. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I've had a listen to all the uh, other judges and I said I was going to steal one of the names, but I'm not because they're all terrible guesses. <laughs> OK, I tell you I'm going to go with someone anonymous. I'm going to go with Chris Moyles. Chris That's Moyles? That's I'm going to go with. Chris oh, Moyles. another new name in the mix. Yeah. Who's inside Badger? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Badger. <laughs> Are things getting a bit hairy for Badger, or are the panel going to need to dig a bit deeper? Who do you think is behind the mask? I'm so close, I can smell the final. I'll claw my way there if I have to. Next act knows there's a place in the final up for grabs, but they're only in it for the funny. It's Harlequin. She's skipped out of sight, a little bit of psycho, and now she's screaming, Mama, Mama, Mama. Oh, she's hot out of sight, so little bit she right, though, and now she's screaming, Mama, Mama, Mama. To make it close, but she a blessing, to rip the show within a second. You're coming back, got the seconds, with your plate, you just can't help it now. I'm saying no, no. They're saying yes, yes, yes. Cause you're messing with your yes, head. Yes, ma. Oh, she did that psycho. Oh, I got a psycho. And now she's screaming, mama, mama, mama. Oh, she's hot that psycho. So little she rides up. And now she's screaming, mama, mama, mama. You're just like me. You're right your mind. I know a strange. We're both the crazy kind. Telling me that I'm insane. Why don't pretend that you don't love the pain? Just kicked a skull. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Rita, it's come to you first. Harlequin, week after week, you have me under your spell. That's how much I love your voice. And I think that I'm going to go with Gabrielle. You've changed your mind. You've I have. changed your mind this week. I have, but I'm pretending like I always was saying Gabrielle. So if you can just <laughs> go with me on that. <laughs> Matt, I'm absolutely convinced it's Gabrielle. Mo, you sticking with your previous guess? I'm still sticking with my guns, but one name I kind of wanted to throw out there, possibly Dido. Oh, that's it. Davina, has that changed your mind? I'm going to also say another name. The sound and the resonance is a possible from the right ear, and that's Tasman Archer. Mm. <laughs> Jonathan Ross. Well, John, I would like to say the name Tanita Tikaram. I don't think it is her. I just would like to say the name. <laughs> uh, but I was thinking, could it be there's a young star at the moment whose voice over much like Mabel? Do you think it could be Mabel in there? Because she's got a great quality in her voice. Right. Wow. They'll only confess who's in the dress once the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Harlequin. Who's Tanita Twickenham? Not, not Tanita <laughs> Twickenham. It's... She hasn't moved as far as I know. <laughs> Are the panel dreaming up the right answer, or is it turning into a bit of a nightmare? Who do you think is behind the mask? The panel think that they got me, but who knows? I might still have the last laugh. We've still got two performances to go before the studio audience votes and we unmask another celebrity. Who's there behind the mask? Welcome back to The Masked Singer. It's been an incredible night so far, and we've still got two performances to go before we find out which three celebrities will be going through to our final. Not only that, but another famous face will be revealed. 
Up next, and singing for a place in the final, it's our featherweight fighter. It's Robin. Oh, yes! Been working so hard, I punch in my car. Davina. Well, for me, that was just one of the highlights of tonight's show. That was yeah. so exciting. I'm going to go a boy band again. Oh. And I know that Nicky Byrne was a professional footballer from Westlife, so yes, I'm going to go was. Nicky Byrne. Nicky oh, Byrne. That's a good one. Mo. Oh, that was so good. So good. I lost myself at one minute. I was like, <laughs> This is kind of another name I wanted to throw out there, which was Craig David. Yeah, Craig David can really hit some of those notes as well. Rita. It's my boy, Aston, from JLS. It's your boy, Aston. <laughs> Matt Lucas. I have to say that I think it's Aston Villa player Jack Greenish. <laughs> 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 Jonathan. Seeing that performance, I'm fairly confident this is the right person. Bear in mind, last time you saw him, of course, was before lockdown. And in lockdown, he was following the Joe Wick exercise plan. I think he's big nasty, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I think it is. <laughs> and shame on you for not getting him, Mo. You should have recognised him. <laughs> not big nasty. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll only see who's the spectacular star inside Robin when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Robin! <laughs> Tonight he's flying solo, but could Robin be part of a boy band? Who do you think is behind the mask? I've done all I can to pinch myself a place in the final. Am I from Westlife? Am I from JLS? You're not finding out who I am yet. There's just one celebrity left to sing, and they're hungry for a place in the final. And we're hungry for them. It's Sausage. Yes. Woo! Come on, Sausage! Yeah. You're broken down. Tired of living life on a merry-go-round, and you can't find a fighter. But I see it in you, and we can walk it out. Mountains, we can walk it out. Mountains, and I'll
Great performance. You can shake your chipolata at me as much. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? No, I didn't know. <laughs> anyway, but you know what? I am now convinced. And following my other panics here, it's Stacey Solomon. I'm convinced. Rita. I'm going to say Stacey Solomon, but now I'm like, are you Stacey Solomon? I don't know. Oh. I'm very confused right now. Matt, I'm just thinking about how extraordinary your voice is. Leona Lewis. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. That's a good one. But whoever you are, don't ever let anyone eat you, because you are brilliant. Davila. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Eddie Golding earlier. I'm going to stick with that, but that was extraordinary. Yeah. Mo. I am bamboozled. It could be Kelly Bryan. She's in Eternal. Yeah. She's an actress in Hollyoaks. But I'm throwing my pen away because <laughs> I have no idea who that is. So who's sandwiched inside sausage? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for sausage. That was beautiful. <laughs> After that grilling, have the panel sussed out who's under the sausage skin. Who do you think it is? The more I listen to this panel, the more I laugh. They're just so funny. <laughs> I just hope I get to the final so I can laugh a little bit more. <laughs> After the break, another celebrity's identity will be revealed and we'll find out who is going to the final. It's the semi-final and all four remaining celebrities have now performed and it's time for our studio audience to vote for their favourite masked singer. The celebrity with the least votes will be unmasked and the other three will be going through to next week's final. <laughs> While our studio audience votes, here's a reminder of tonight's performances for you guys at home. The results are in. And I can reveal that in no particular order, the mass singers going through to the final are. Oh. Singer to make it through to the final is Badger! Badger, congratulations! Wow, give it up for our three finalists, everybody! Get off that into the panel today. Oh, wow. And let's hear it for Harlequin. I'm so sorry, but your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end. But, of course, first, panel. Mo, firstly, who do you think is behind The Mask? Well, I still think it's, I think it's Gabrielle. Gabrielle. <laughs> Beautiful part. Davina? I'm going to go with Emily Sunday. Emily Sunday. <laughs> Matt? 
I'm a huge fan of Gabrielle, and I'm absolutely convinced that's who's under that mask. I love it. Gabrielle it is. Rita Ora. Yes, I am going to stick with Gabrielle. OK. Finally, Jonathan Ross, your performances have been out of this world. I'm going to join the rest and say, I think it is Gabrielle. Gabrielle. A lot in favour of Gabrielle, but let's see if any of you are right. It's Woo! time to find out the identity of our masked singer. Harlequin, who's behind the mask? Take it off! so amazing on this show. You really have. Every performance has been absolutely incredible. I'm a very nervous performer, and I thought doing this, maybe if I can come out of my comfort zone. Let me tell you now, <laughs> I loved it. It was yeah. the most fabulous experience. Wow. I look forward to watching this now. You worked really hard to disguise your voice at the start, didn't you? I tried, and then I forget that I'm not supposed <laughs> to do me, and it would be like, I'm no good at this. <laughs> I, you know. That's the reason you're such a big star, because yeah. you have such a unique voice. Yes. I love you. The way you stayed in character with your yeah. hands. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Never stopped, man. Wicked. I can't believe I didn't recognise that the Tracy Chapman thing Fast in Car. Fast Car, yes. and you were sampled in one of your biggest songs. That's right. But, you know, you did amazing. You fooled us. Thank you. The fact that I've got here amongst yes. the, the great singers that we have in this competition. I'm like, wow, I, I'm surprised I came so fast. And oh. thank you. Oh. Thank you. It's been a real joy. <laughs> Give it up for Gabrielle, everybody. Thank you. Yay! Thank you for tonight. Thank you very much. What a show for behind the scenes exclusives, including a chat with our unmasked celebrities. Head over to the hub where you can catch the masked singer Unmasked with Will and Joe Vu. And next week, it's the final. I can't believe it. You do not want to miss it. But before we go, singing us out, unmasked at last, ladies and gentlemen, it's Gabrielle, everybody! I had a dream. I got everything I wanted. Oh, yes. Now what you think? But if I'm being honest, might have been a nightmare. To anyone who might care And you sure As long as I fear No one can hurt you No one alive here But you can learn to If they knew what they said Don't come straight to my head What would they say instead? Next week, it's the grand final, everybody. Let's go. Three masked singers remain Robin, no. Sausage, no. and Badger. No. All three will be unmasked, but only one <laughs> will be crowned champion. I have a feeling tonight is going to feature a lot of confetti. And if you want to find out what went on backstage tonight, switch over to IFTV Hub right now for the Masked Singer Unmasked. Get lost in hours of great British telly with loads of exclusive box sets, including The Only Way is Essex, Sanderton and Happy Valley on Brit Box. But your Saturday night with us here on ITV continues next with more blind auditions. Stay there for The Voice UK.